All right, this is fifth grade, module four, lesson 12, and uh, we're going to be doing some more word problems. Um, you know, famous, famous, internationally known thing that people generally hate word problems. Well, you know, I understand, and this is exactly, this is how most people feel about word problems, you know. If you have four pencils and I have seven apples, how many pancakes will fit on the roof? Purple, because aliens don't wear hats. And, and so this is how a lot of people feel about word problems. They're like, what? I don't understand this at all. And I, I get that. But really, for the most part, solving word problems, when students have a hard time with the word problems, it has nothing to do with the math uh, it doesn't even have much to do with the words. It has everything to do with just understanding what the problem is asking for. So we're going to be drawing pictures to help us uh, kind of come to an understanding of what the problem is asking. And then solving the problem becomes super easy. So let's get started. So here we've got Terrence. He finished a word search in three quarters of the time it took Frank. And Charlotte finished the word search in two-thirds of the time it took Terrence. And Frank finished the word search in 32 minutes. How long did it take Charlotte to finish the word search? So, man, we got a lot of stuff going on here. But what I see is we've got three people. We've got Frank, we've got uh, Charlotte, and we've got Terrence. So I'm going to put Frank here. We've got Terrence, and we've got Charlotte, all right? And I'm going to draw, let's see, uh, let's see. We're going to make all of them the exact same length unit. So there is Frank, and then we're going to do Terrence, and then we're going to do Charlotte, all right? So I'm trying to draw all of them the exact same length, all right? So now let's go back and read the question. So it says... Terrence finished a word search in three quarters of the time it took Frank. So if this is Frank, Terrence did it in three quarters of the time. So that means we're going to chop it up into four pieces. And this fourth piece is not necessary because Terrence did it in three-fourths of the time that Frank did. And then... It says, now Charlotte did it in two-thirds of the time that it took Terrence to do. So you'll notice this is really convenient because Terrence has only three pieces. He doesn't have four. This is gone. Um, Terrence has three pieces, and Charlotte did it in two out of those three pieces. So where Charlotte started out this whole length, but we're going to chop off this piece because it's not needed, it's gone, it's not even there. And then out of Terrence, the t three pieces of Terrence, uh, Charlotte did it in two-thirds of the time. So that means we can cross off this as well. So this, for Charlotte, we cross off two of these units. For Terrence, we only cross off the one unit, and Frank is that big, long tape diagram. So now we're told that Frank did his in 32 minutes. So Frank's tape diagram right here is 32 minutes. Well, what does that mean for Terrence? Well, Terrence took Frank's 32 minutes and divided it by four, so each unit is eight minutes per little unit. So that means each one of these counts as an eight, so that means each one of these counts as an 8. And so we now know that Charlotte finished her word search in 16 minutes. And that is the problem, the answer. And man, the only thing we had to do is divide by 4. So this problem, we have an auditorium, and one-sixth of the students are 5th graders right here. One-third are fourth graders, and then it says one-fourth of the remaining students are second graders. So let's let's draw the picture of what we're going to see so far. So the picture 
you have this whole thing, and this is the auditorium right here. And by the way, it says if there are 96 students in the auditorium. So this entire tape diagram represents the 96 students, but I'm going to put that in at the end. So it says we have one-sixth of the students are fifth graders. So and I don't know where one-sixth is, so I'm just going to call this right here one-sixth of, and then the whole group is 96 students. So this is one-sixth of 96, and those are the fifth graders. And I'll do that in red, fifth. And then it says one-third are fourth graders, and so I don't know what one-third would look like, so let's just call this one-third. So we're going to call this one-third of 96. We're going to call that the fourth graders. And then it says one-fourth of the remaining students are second graders. So that means we're going to take this last piece and chop it up into four units, and one-fourth of the remaining are the second graders. So I'm just going to call this second right there, like that. So the big question is, how many second graders are there? So the real question is, what is this little unit right here worth? So we're going to have to do a couple of things. First, we have to figure out what is 1 -sixth of 96, because that's the fifth graders. And then we have to figure out 1 -third of 96 because that's the fourth graders. So let's do the math. 1 sixth times 96, that's going to be 96 over 6, and that's going to be equal 16 students are fifth graders. Now teachers and parents, you might need to pause the video because I kind of went through that pretty quick. Now here we've got 1 -third of 96, so that's going to be 96 over 3, and that's equal to 32, and that's 32 fourth graders. All right, so how many students are, did we use up so far? So what I'm saying is, these two hunks right here is going to be 16 plus 32. So if we add those together, that gives us 48 students. So this piece way over here is 48 students right here. So this whole thing here is 48 students. And so we need to figure out what do we have left over. So we're going to do 96 minus 48, so 96 minus 48, and that gives us 48. So that means these four units are equal to 48, and one of these units is our second grader. So our second graders, so I'm going to do 48 divided by 4. I get 12. So we have 12 second graders. So I'm going to write that down. Where should I write that down? I'll put it right here. 12 second graders is our answer for this problem. And that wraps up lesson 12 fifth grade, module four, lesson 12, those dreaded word problems, which really isn't such a math problem. It's really all about drawing the proper picture and understanding the problem.